everything has gone on fire since the time Joe Biden took over. Afghanistan's gone down. Ukraine has been invaded. Now the Philippines and the Chinese are on the verge of something bad happening every single day, not to mention the threats to Taiwan. We have, we have this blow up in Haiti going on in our very own hemisphere. We wake up every single day, terrorist attacks, but, but, 9 but million people but, across the border. I mean, I mean that's you're, what matters you're not suggesting me. that's all happening because of Biden. I Absolutely, mean, I am. But, well, well, let, 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 Absolutely, I'm suggesting it happening because of Biden. He's president. Hello and welcome back to yet another look at how a state media operative posing as a trustworthy reporter can enforce double standards against his political opponents and manipulate elections. But this time, ABC News host John Carl gets called out and absolutely nuked for it. Now remember, John Carl is an open Democrat who openly hates Donald Trump and openly supports Joe Biden and is openly lying to make sure that Donald Trump doesn't get elected, which is literally why he wrote his latest book. There was some reporting this week that you are possibly under consideration to be Donald Trump's running mate. I don't put a lot of stock in this reporting right now or we're, we're early, uh, but you said it would be an honor to be offered a spot on his ticket. Really? Yeah, I think anyone who's offered the opportunity to serve this country as vice president should be honored by the opportunity to do it if you're in public service. I'm in the Senate because I want to serve the country. Being vice president is an important way to serve the country. But I've also been clear, I've never talked to Donald Trump. I've never talked to anybody on his team or family or inner circle about vice president. That's a decision he's going to make. He has plenty of really good but, people to pick from. I mean, the reason why I ask is, I mean, look what happened to the last guy. Uh, I mean, the, a, a mob stormed the Capitol. A mob of around 372 people out of a peaceful 120,000 who were doing exactly what Trump said to do, march peacefully. Literally calling to hang Mike Pence. Listen, and Trump defended those chants of hang Mike Pence. I will no, we have another. All right, I'm sorry, but I gotta stop here real quick and correct those lies that John Carl, the undercover Biden campaign operative just spewed about Trump supporting calls to hang Mike Pence. It's yet another tall tale to come out of the highly partisan and now discredited J6 committee. And it literally has no independent verification and has been denied by Mark Meadows. These are the same people that claim Trump tried to take over a limo so he could get to the riot, which was also denied by everybody with Trump at the time. Second, Trump isn't responsible for a dozen random strangers chanting hang Mike Pence. Don't get me wrong, it's completely nuts, but also not uncommon for Democrat protests, where they've called for much, much worse against Republican presidents. Not to mention Supreme Court judges who were threatened and had assassination attempts on them, which based on John Carl's standards would implicate Democrats and the media. Yeah. I'll tell you this, that when Donald Trump was president of the United States, this country was safer, it was more prosperous. We had, we had relations, for example, in a part of the world that I care about called the Western Hemisphere that, that, that were very strong. We had a lot of good things done there. I think the country and the world was a better place when he was president. And, it was, and I would love to see him return to the White House in comparison to the guy who's there now, Joe Biden, who's been a disaster economically. Look, look at the world. Every single day we wake up to a new crisis, to a new conflict. Everything has gone on fire since the time Joe Biden took over. Afghanistan's gone down. Ukraine has been invaded. Now the Philippines and the Chinese are on the verge of something bad happening every single day, not to mention the threats to Taiwan. We have, we have this blow up in Haiti going on in our very own hemisphere. We wake up every single day, terrorist attacks, but, and but, 9 but million you're, people but, across the border. I mean, I mean that's you're, what you're, matters you're not me. suggesting that's all happening because of Biden. I Absolutely, mean, they, I am. But, well, well, let, 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 Absolutely, I'm suggesting it happening because of Biden. He's president, and his weakness and his... It's because of Biden that, that, that Russia invaded Ukraine? Absolutely. It's because of Biden that, that, that Haiti... Okay, let, let, Absolutely. Let, I mean, could, Putin is sitting there saying, these guys can't even stand up to the Taliban, and they have to fly people hanging off the wings of these airplanes. Now's the time to go. And that right there really says it all. John Carl's indignation that Mark Rubio would dare blame Joe Biden for being responsible for what's happening in Ukraine. For one, he is the president, and the bug does stop with him, but how about we take another trip down memory lane to the year 2014 when Russia first started invading Ukraine during the Obama-Biden administration. At the time, Barack Obama refused to arm Ukraine. What else should we be doing? Okay, what are you saying? Well, we should be arming uh, Ukrainians more. Do, do people actually think that, uh, that somehow us sending some additional arms into Ukraine could potentially deter the Russian army? Or are we more likely to deter them by applying the sort of international pressure, diplomatic pressure, and economic pressure that we're applying? Oops! 
Then Donald Trump becomes president and arms Ukraine with anti-tank missile systems, which worked to great effect when Putin invaded in 2022, during a time that Joe Biden is in the White House again. Are you guys seeing the pattern here? So it's more than a little odd that he would so fervently dismiss the idea that Joe Biden is at least somewhat responsible for what's happening in Ukraine right now. And the reason for that is pretty obvious because John Carl blames Republicans for what's happening in Ukraine, which is about 95% of what John Carl does. Blame Trump and Republicans for everything. Down memory lane while we're talking about this. This was you in 2016. What we are dealing with here, my friends, is a con artist. He is a con artist. First of all, he runs on this idea that he is fighting for the little guy, but he has spent his entire career sticking it to the little guy. You all have friends that are thinking about voting for Donald Trump. Friends do not let friends vote for con artists. Friends do not let friends vote for con artists. You, you know I could have gone on. I could have played yeah, more. Yeah, but so, so but, why didn't you play the clip of Kamala Harris but, basically insinuating that Joe Biden was a segregationist well, 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 on the debate we, stage we, and we, she's we, now we, his vice president? We play that, but, but, but. What? No, not that kind of memory lane. Here we see once again, John Carl lying and carving himself and his team out an exception from their own rules. Like, I don't even care if Mark Rubio is the VP and I seriously doubt he will be, but I looked and John Carl never presented clips of Kamala Harris calling Joe Joe Biden a segregationist and asked her why she would want to be his VP. So yeah, Carl's just another media liar and another reason never to trust these people. Especially now when they've brainwashed themselves into believing all their own lies so they can rationalize doing bad things that in their minds is justified and aren't bad things because they're the ones doing it. God, just imagine how these people are going to act when Trump wins. But for now, that's all I have for this one. If you're still here, might as well hit that like button and leave a comment. Also, Make sure to keep checking back for more videos. Thanks a lot.